Hey everybody, it's Gary the Google Guy here, and I've got a couple of great new updates for you in regards to a couple of new features added to Google Meet. You will now have the ability to pose Q&A throughout a Google Meet, as well as being able to utilize polls to maybe quickly gauge the pulse of your audience throughout a Google Meet. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is look in the upper right corner of your screen to see if you have these new features available. And that is gonna be this little triangle square circle icon. If you hover your cursor over it, it will say activities. When you click on that, it's gonna pull out a side panel to the right. And it's gonna give you the option for polls and Q&A. So let's start off by doing a poll. We click poll and let's start a poll. So let's ask a question. What do you think of the new Google Meet logo? I like it as option one and option two. We'll just say not real crazy about it. And you can add additional options. If you choose, you can also say, you know what? I'd rather not ask this and just trash it. You click on launch and that's gonna launch it to the audience. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over to my other screen because I wanna show you what is the recipient see of this poll because only the creator or organizer of the meeting can actually create the polls. So let me switch over and you'll see in the upper right corner we now have that same icon with a green dot letting us know that a new poll or Q&A has been asked. So we go into that and we'll see our green dot to the right of where it says polls. So let's have a look. And what do you think of the new Google Meet logo? Well, I like it. So we click I like it and I'm gonna vote that. And now we've just answered that poll. So now once again, let's switch back to the organizer view and I can see these live results. I also have the option of turning this on for everybody to see those live results with a toggle button. I'm done with the poll, so we're good. Let's click on end. And you'll see that you can create multiple polls with inside of a single Google Meet, which is really cool. Another cool piece about this is that at the conclusion of your meeting, you're gonna get an email from Google Meet or Google Meet Recordings, and it's gonna create a sheet file of those different questions and polls that you've asked, which is a pretty cool piece, and I'll show you that at the end. Meanwhile, let's jump into our Q&A piece. So as the organizer, I have the ability to ask my own questions from here or a participant of the meeting, I can ask questions as well. So we can pose them and we can answer them and work with them throughout our meeting. So I can, as the organizer, turn questions on and off. I can see all of the questions or maybe the oldest first. Down at the bottom, I can even ask my own questions. So let's go to that participant view and we'll get out of our poll so we see the results of that poll there. It's now ended and let's go into Q&A. So Q&A has been turned on. I now have the ability as a participant to ask a question. And what do you think of the new Gmail logo? And I'm going to post that to the group. And now it's been posted. So as a participant, I can ask questions. I could also delete them. I can see all questions are old as first and even ask additional questions. If I go to the organizer view, I can say, you know what? We are going to turn this off. We're not going to allow any questions at the time. And you'll see that little heads up in the middle of our meeting there is going to, going to be put out there for everybody to see. I can turn off the visibility as being hidden. I can mark something as being answered or I could delete those. And other people will also have the option of being able to upvote that particular question as well. So a couple of great new features to be able to utilize within your Google Meets themselves. Now, the other piece I wanted to show you is as the organizer, I'm going to bounce back to my email. Once the meeting is concluded, and I held a meeting a little while ago just to test this feature out, you'll see that I've got an email from meetings, and there are my two sheets. If I go into that, you'll see I have my sheet one, the questions that were asked during that meeting, and then sheet two, 
all the polling results for those different polls that I asked as well. So a really cool piece and it's only going to go to the creator or organizer of the Google Meet but you could also share that out with your audience thereafter because it is a drive file and stored in drive and you can utilize those in another way. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I've got for you in terms of those brand new features, Q&A and polls being added to your Google Meet options. Just as an FYI, if you don't see those features right away, Google usually takes about two weeks to roll features like this out. So you may be in part of that rollout that's a little delayed, not necessarily on day one. You may also need to reset and clean out your cookies and cache, which you can do that in your Chrome browser. You'll go to the three dot icon in the top right corner of your screen, go into more tools, clear browsing data, and you want to get rid of your cookies and cache. And that'll reset the interface for your account may just need to sign back in but you'll see that feature if you have access to it thereafter you may also want to look at the description down below the video itself I'm gonna put a little bit of information on there in terms of the release when it's going to be coming out and who may have access to that until we meet again another day another time another update this is Gary the Google guy signing off